Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and uh, this here is my DJI Pocket 2 and uh, here is the wide angle lens that comes with the DJI Pocket 2 uh, creator combo so what's happening is that when you attach the wide angle lens and when you're moving the thing around okay so when you're moving the thing around the, when the camera moves around, especially when it like moves down or something, okay, we just need to just move it a bit. So the motors and motor engage. Let's try moving. Okay, it will start vibrating, and once it starts vibrating, after a few seconds, it will say gimbal locked. So it's vibrating now. Nope. Okay. So it'll say gimbal protector tap to resume. So what's happening is that the camera's motor, the gimbal, isn't detecting the, isn't detecting the lens properly. So it's not giving it more juice to compensate for the movement of the camera with the additional weight of the lens. So that's why once it starts vibrating, it just needs a while and then it will just drop. And it'll say gimbal protected tap to resume. Okay, the other problem with this is that when it is when it doesn't detect the wide angle lens and you turn off the camera in order to it will go into this reset head state. So what happens if I oh it's already it's already vibrating. Oh it's vibrating again. Okay, so that was turning off. Boop, and it knocks off the wide angle lens because the head goes in. This is not supposed to happen with the wide angle lens attached. The, I mean, very specifically, it said that with the wide angle lens attached, it when it parks the lens head, the head will face outwards. Okay. So a lot of people thought this had to do with the firmware because DJI released the firmware and said that that one of the things that was fixed was that it stopped the motor from vibrating too hard with the with the wide angle lens with the wide angle lens attached but recently on the dji forums okay but that's about a month ago someone mentioned that dji actually sent a replacement okay but before that someone mentioned that when you put the wide angle lens on the camera it's supposed to say wide angle lens attached but of course the strange thing here is when i put the wide angle lens here up now you can see that it doesn't say wide angle lens attached so that was a curious and i caught i thought it was because i mean this is attached using magnets so i thought there was something wrong with the sensor like there's a metal sensor in there that it just doesn't detect the the lens correctly but then in the forum thread, it's mentioned that you only need to hold the lens in front of the camera and it will say that it's attached. So if I take this niobium magnet and I put it near the camera and you can see it says ND, ND lens installed. If I flip it around, you say wide angle lens installed. Okay, remove, install, okay, okay, I need to turn off the face tracking so that, so that it doesn't keep locking down and something. Okay, turn off face tracking to stop it from moving around. Okay, so let me see, I put it so you can see, I bring the magnet in, it says ND filter installed, ND filter remove. I flip the magnet around and it will say wide angle lens installed wide angle lens removed so that means this lens is actually detecting the the presence of a magnetic polarity on the on the magnets to decide whether you put in like the nd lens or the wide angle lens but the problem here is of course when we put the wide angle lens on it now you can see that nothing happens and obviously because it doesn't doesn't detect that there's a wide angle lens on it 
everything is just a problem because if it doesn't detect the wide angle lens it will it will not know to use more weight on the when moving the camera and it will just rumble and it will just shut down okay so as i was doing testing this phenomena i found something out which is so when i put the lens here like this it doesn't detect anything but if i turn it let's say 90 degrees Hey, it says ND filter installed. See? And uh, if I turn it the other way. Hey, look, it says wide angle lens installed. Okay, then. So the, the, the area to get it is that you just have to match the groove to the top of the groove of the camera. Okay, and it says it's installed, and because it's installed, the camera knows that a wide angle lens is installed. There won't be any more of the the gimbal itself will of course exert more power to move the lens around, and you won't get that gimbal gimbal lock issue. But of course, there are quite a few problems with this the first of first of all is that this is not a good 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 position at all it's not being locked properly it can slide off very easily because basically the magnet is being held in the groove here so the top magnet is getting a good grip the bottom isn't so if you start shaking it around like when you're trying to take it running or something it will very likely fall off so this would probably help for stationary guide. And I think even if we turn it off, if it flings it fast enough, it will immediately fling off the wide angle lens. So let's take a look. If I turn it off now. So you can see, it when it, when it first turned off the wide angle lens, the lens was outside. But the moment it slid off and the camera detected there's no wide angle lens anymore, it immediately went back to its normal closing position. Okay, so what's the conclusion here? The conclusion is this whatever we have right now seems to be a hardware manufacturing defect. Okay? Because if you look at the forum thread that I'll be linking to the description and the card on the video, the someone did manage to email DJI support and they gave them a replay they they send them a replacement lens which gets detected correctly when you put it onto the camera so if you're having this problem i would say email dji support i myself has emailed dji support and they are trying to get my local distributor to try and send me a replacement which i hope they do but of course the if you are if you really need the wide angle lens now, just remember you can do what I, I said and you can just like rotate it until the camera detects that there's a wide angle lens and it shouldn't vibrate anymore. But of course, you can't use this when you're mobile because this will slide off very easily. Okay, let's see how well this works. Okay, I'm running, I'm running, running. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Definitely don't do that. You can't use that method of securing the lens when you're when you're actually mobile. Okay, so if you're having this problem, you really should just email DJI support and ask them what what they, what you should be doing. Hopefully, they'll just send you a replacement as well. They'll need to send you a replacement case and a replacement lens because the case seems to be magnetic. Because according to the forum thread this uh this area here the area where you put the wide angle lens it repels the the old case repels the replacement lens okay so uh this is marauders and uh i'll see you all in the next video